All right, so today I'm gonna to build a light fixture out of cardboard plus a little bit of wood for structure. So the basic layout is that I'm gonna use this quarter inch thick Luon to build the top disc and the bottom disc. They're gonna be held together with these dowel rods right here that I'll chop up. They're 7 16 diameter. And then the whole thing is gonna hang on this little light socket fixture I picked up at Menards for 10 bucks, which I thought was a great deal. It has a really cool cord on it. And then uh, basically I'll have the Luon bottom and top with the dowel rods and in between is gonna be a bunch of layers of cardboard. And I've been saving that up for a long time, so I have a bunch of those as well. So anyway, this thing should turn out pretty cool, and I don't think it'll be too difficult of a project, so let me get started. I went ahead and drew out my rings on the Luon so I could get them cut out here in just a minute, but I want to explain the layout because it's actually pretty simple. So I decided to make the whole thing 14 inches diameter. So instead of just using my compass to draw out a 14 inch diameter circle, I wanted to know a couple specific spots for some mounting points. So the very first thing I did was actually draw a 14 inch square. And I just used a carpenter square to make it really easy. All right, so once that was drawn out, then I went from corner to corner and drew some cross lines to find center. And then I set up my compass to be stuck in center and just touch the outer edge of the square to draw my outer ring circle. All right, then I decided I wanted my ring to be an inch and a half wide. So I reset my compass to come in inch and a half, drew a second circle and my ring's done. But the cool thing about these diagonal lines is then I could use those for mounting points. So since this is an inch and a half wide, I measured in three quarter inch, put a little mark there. I did that in all four spots, and that is where those dowel rods will get mounted. So now they're all nice and evenly spaced, and that's just a super simple way to find it. So the top ring is laid out exactly the same way, except it also has some spokes. So it was a 14 inch square, did the diagonal cross marks, the outer ring, come in inch and a half, also made the little points to mount the dowel rods. But then to do the spokes, I uh, had to figure out a few things. So first off, I need the whole piece to be mounted right in the center and it has to hang off of this little light fixture I have. So I measured the inner piece right here. It's an inch and a half. So I drew an inch and a half circle off center using my little compass. All right, so once it was drawn, then I kind of decided how wide to make everything else. And since my outer ring was an inch and a half, I decided just to make everything else inch and a half as well. So what I did is with these diagonal lines that I originally drew, I measured three quarter inch that way, three quarter inch this way, was able to draw lines, all right? Did it this direction as well. There's my spokes, really easy. But I needed some strength right here because if these lines just come right to the circle, I mean, there's absolutely no support. So just to keep it simple, I did the same thing. I just made this space right here, inch and a half as well. So I just reset my compass to come out. So it was an additional inch and a half and then made the ring there. And then you can kind of see I did a little, uh, uh, fidgeting with sizes and all that, but I raced everything except for the actual good parts. So the center right here is going to get cut out. These four little Simon Says looking spots will get cut out and then uh, everything else except for the ring and the spokes. And then right here will just be the ring. And then the cool thing about this bottom ring is I can use it as a template for all of my cardboard pieces. So once it's cut out, I can just lay it on cardboard, trace around it real quick and cut all those pieces out. And it should make this go a lot quicker. So let me go ahead, take this outside, drill a couple holes, cut it out, and then I can start making my cardboard pieces. So I pre-drilled holes through the rings and into the dowel rods and I screwed it together with some number six by one inch wood screws just to test fit it. Nice and lightweight, sturdy, it doesn't twist on me. So this is gonna work out really nice. So now that I know it works, I'll go ahead and take it apart again. 
and then I will trace out a bunch of cardboard rings using the bottom ring here as my template. I also need to go ahead and mark all the little spots for the holes and then I'll probably drill out the holes in the cardboard. I think that'll work so that they'll slide over the uh, 7 16 dowel rods just fine. And I don't know how many I put on there but I'll put a bunch and uh, there'll be a little bit of space in between them but it should look pretty cool. But uh, since the wood rings you know, are not cardboard, they are going to look a little different. And since my cuts are not so great, they're a little chipped up, I think I'm going to paint them just to help them stand out a little better, make everything look like it was done on purpose. And it uh, should be pretty cool. Then all I got to do is put the little thingy up here and hang it up, and it's ready to go. So let me go ahead and start doing that. Check it out, here it is all finished. Got it hanging in the uh, corner of the living room, right above the edge of the couch, sort of our little reading area. It's hanging off a piece of pipe that we've had up here for a different light fixture. I think that's like 12 inches long, really easy to put together, and it worked out well. It's right next to our clock collection, which is bright and colorful, but one color I did not really see up there was the sort of toothpasty, minty, aqua green color. That's why I chose it, but of course you could go with any color you wanted or even no color, just leave it wood for more of a natural look. And uh, the circle shape itself was a really simple layout and I like the sort of modern beehive look it has. But you could probably go with a square or a triangle or maybe even some oddball shape as long as when it hung it was balanced and it didn't hang crooked. And a couple little dimensions I should mention is that it's 14 inches diameter. My dowel rods are 12 inches long and I cut 24 discs on this. But of course you could make it any size you wanted and use as many or as little discs as you wanted. Probably the most time consuming part was actually cutting the cardboard. But it wasn't too bad. I put on some TV and it went by fairly quickly. And a couple of details I like are the little chrome finish washers underneath the screws. That just adds that little tiny finishing detail, bumps it up a notch, makes it look a little bit nicer. Also, when I was cutting the cardboard, I tried to use as much of the printing as I could so that it had that cool kind of reclaimed, recycled look. And then also, because it's cut by hand and because all the holes were poked by hand, it, uh, you know, nothing exactly lines up 100% perfect. So there's some dips and dives and waves to it, which is kind of cool. It gives a little bit of a natural look. If this was an art critique, you'd say it has movement, which is a nice way of putting that it, you know, it's not perfect and it looks wonky. But I think it turned out pretty cool. And uh, here, let me turn it on real quick. You can see that it uh, shoots out light to the walls. It looks really cool at nighttime too. There's really cool patterns cast on the wall and it still shoots light down and through the bottom. And I found that it wasn't overly bright, um, which is good for a reading area. Our other light was a little bit overbearing, but this one's just right. So anyway, that is how my little uh, cardboard lampshade thing here turned out. Pretty cool little project. It's one of the uh, ones I've been meaning to build for a long time. I've been saving cardboard. My wife's been getting on to me about using it up and I finally did and I think it turned out really awesome. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate that. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. That really helps get it out in front of other people that might like to check it out too. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that to keep up with more videos. And if you want to see some other projects I have, I have some here on the screen and down in the description below as well.